The sound probably will not pick up on this phone, but there are bees, honeybees, covering this butterfly bush. We also have bumblebees that like to visit this bush, and butterflies. And just walking by, it smells like honey because there's just so much nectar on these blooms. And this particular bush tends to bloom twice a year. So we have lots of activity now, and then we'll have lots of activity in the fall. But I'm just so thrilled that it's become such a, a haven, I guess, uh, or, you know, food source for all these bees. There's a bumblebee right up there. Now the downside is because it's gotten so big, it's right next to our walk path. And so I'm going to have to cut it back some this next year. Right, babe? Yep. <laughs> Justin is putting hay in the nesting boxes for some bunnies that he had bred almost a month ago. So within the next five days, they are due. And so we're trying to make sure that we're, you know, being proactive and putting nesting boxes in before they need them. And Malachi is mowing. And then I wanted to show y'all, this is a project that really, it was just to see if it would work. Let's get rid of that little grasshopper there. I basically took cuttings whenever I trimmed back that particular fig tree and I just stuck them in the ground to see if they would root. And we have one, two, three, uh, I think there was four. Yep, four of them have rooted. So now we have to figure out where to put four fig trees on our place. But I'm really excited about that because, again, all I did was cut back this fig tree a little bit. Not that you can tell it now. And stuck the pieces in the ground. It wasn't like I did anything special to them. So that's really exciting to know that those can be propagated either for us to have even more or for us to give to friends. And this particular variety offhand, I don't remember. It, we've got two different varieties, but I think that one's really small over there. But I think this one is the one that I took all the cuttings from. And then of course we have all this careless weed, the broadleaf. Oh, and here's some of the kittens as they run away. And our, <laughs> um, Composting tumbler, one of three, which obviously we don't use enough. So that's our update for today. We've got new fig trees and a busy and active um, butterfly bush. And the sad news, three of our puppies were taken away by our big dogs yesterday morning and left somewhere. And they have not made their way home yet. And the sad part is Hercules, the big male, was one we were planning on keeping here at Cooker Gehooft. So I'm praying he comes back. I'm praying all three come back. But especially him, since we really like his personality. And he's a pretty pup. And uh, we thought he would do well here on the homestead. But maybe he'll come back, right, sir? I'll see. We'll see, yeah. God bless.